Oh, it's too tight in here, people. It's too tight. Go a little more. Buddy. Oh, my. Yeah, you got the door shut. Oh, me, oh, my, people. Oh, yeah. So just closing the doors of the, the bike shed and, of course, I have to get up over the barn to get in here, you know. Yeah, so here we go for another sermon. And again, guys, my name is Pastor Stephen Barney. I'm the author of the Tribulation Soldier series. And at the moment, just still continuing on with trying to build this online platform that we're building at the moment, you know. Very, very big. A lot bigger than I ever expected it to be, uh, it has to be said. So, of course, you know, we're YouTubers. We're on YouTube as our Barney Family channel. Kids have got their own three channels. Uh, Barney Family Fun, um, Shorty Shorts and Gaming. We've got quite a lot going on there as well. And of course, as a family, guys, you know, we do just so many different things, you know, like uh, motorbike vlogs, big old bandit here, motorbike vlogs, uh, Scottish castle tours, right in the four wheel drive Land Rover, um, kayaking, fishing, not golfing yet, strangely enough, I've got my golf clubs here and I haven't even done a video of that yet. So we're getting there, slowly but surely, you know, just everything takes time. Um, I'm not the most patient of people in, in some respects, you know, just really want to get going and move on. I don't really do relaxing very well or sitting around and things like that, you know. But uh, we've just got so much stuff on just now. And um, we're just really hoping that if you're following us just now that you're really enjoying the content, you know. We'll just keep building and building. Hopefully things will keep moving forward. It'll be great, you know. But as always, you know, we are YouTubers, you know. So please don't forget to like, subscribe and hit notifications if you like our videos. That really supports us. And uh, you won't miss out on all the videos that are coming up, you know. But for now, let's get, get down to the sermon. Yeah, so very busy as always. And, and in many cases, you know, that's, you know, we look to God, you know, it's not God's fault. It's probably, you know, it's mine. Um, because I'm maybe taking on a little bit too much, maybe a bit more than I should and, and so on, you know. But it just seems to be the way things are going at this season in our lives. There's all different seasons in life, obviously, and this is ours for the moment. You know, we're still building. There's a time for everything under heaven. But the time for us just now is obviously building this. And we've got a lot of stuff going on, and, and one of the one of the bigger things is we've got a little Jack Russell Bailey. You'll maybe seen on in previous videos and so on, certainly on our Barney Family channel, which is on there all the time. And uh, we just got our mated up um, just a few days ago. And we had a couple of prospective partners for her, you know, and uh, they never quite did the deed as it were, but the third guy kind of did. I can't really go into it too much because obviously quite explicit. So we're really hoping that it's taken. It takes about two or three weeks until we find out. So probably from the time that I shared this video to then it'll probably be like a couple of weeks and we'll know if she's pregnant or not. And at the time of filming this, I'm just back from the uh, Cairngorm Mountains with David and Emily. We're using our big horse lorry, we're converting it into a, a wild camper, but more of a multi-purpose vehicle, you know. And Jessica, as we call her, is 24 years old. She's really quite old. But her chassis is solid, engine's really good, under 100,000 miles. Um, we got it from a guy who was a, um, an ex-army mechanic. So, um, you know, it's it's been really well looked after for the age that she is, and we've got so many plans for her. You know, the bull bars on the front, and, uh, you know, get the wheels all painted. You get those lovely big um, toolboxes that go underneath the underruns, you know, to make it into a real, you know, a great support vehicle. And, of course, me now being 47, you know, um, heading off on these longer bike journeys and stuff like that, you know, you can get quite a bit tiring. Especially now when you're driving home and you've got like two hours to come back on the bike after filming and doing all sorts of stuff, you know, it's it's quite a bit. So local bike vlogs is great. We've got beautiful countryside beaches just not far away from the hillsides and the heather and all that sort of stuff. But I really want to go that little bit farther and that's where Jessica comes in. But at the moment I'm still kind of doing everything basically myself, you know, with David and Emily obviously and then Sharon and all the sort of things that go on in our family which you know Sharon's pretty maxed out as well at the moment and you know the kids have got school you know and they've just gone back to school again this week actually you know so it's quite a lot of work but um you know but we're getting there you know we're getting there so yeah these say uh, Thursday sermons you know it's it's I just love this I love this moment you know this is my little time you know when it comes to preaching and teaching the God that I love and the scriptures that I just you know, I just adore, it has to be said, absolutely adore. And I was kind of sitting around for quite a bit this morning, usually I'm starting a little bit earlier with the sermons, but 
been sitting around a bit more today because I really sort of felt the question being asked, you know, is, um, is, trying to, is how to try and explain what it feels like to be a Christian and to be going to various other places, various other situations, you know. Obviously, when we travel and um, we go to different places, they've got their own feel about them. And you know, sometimes that's good, sometimes it's bad, or we're on a journey that we don't really like or we do like, you know. We're in different situations, people's houses, parties, just everything that we do as people, you know. And um, for a lot of us, that makes us kind of, it all goes kind of up and down a bit through life, you know, and that's that's kind of what it feels like. And um, you can feel quite raw, exposed, insecure, all those sort of things. So how can I explain to you what it feels like when you're a Christian and you go into all those same situations and you go into all these same different places? We do quite a lot of uh, travelling in, in Scotland, obviously. The only way, I, I'm actually finding this quite difficult to explain, but the only way I can come up with is that when you're a Christian, you have this almost one inch layer, like a, an atmosphere, you know, or an ecosystem, maybe that's a better way of explaining it like all over just all over armor it's all all covering every part of your body you know and it's got its own ecosystem so even if you're at a place where it's dull and it's rainy and all that sort of stuff that really doesn't matter to your ecosystem of course you know i go away on holiday of course i want it to be sunny and you know you don't want to be dull and raining constantly and stuff like that you know but when you really stop and you look at yourself and you think it doesn't really matter None of these things really matter. It doesn't matter where I go, what I do, what situation I'm in. I've got the same layer all the time. This ecosystem that God seems to give you as a coat of an invisible coat of armour. It's a bit like being Iron Man, but you know, maybe a million times better. Where you've got this defence, you've got this security, and then when you're walking through your life, you don't have this whole up and down all the time. You know, everything starts to level out. And of course, that comes from living with God. Of course, it does. It starts to level out and level out and level out. So you can be in situations as a person that is very uncomfortable, fearful, maybe even, you know, very, very difficult situations. But yet you feel very similar. You feel very the same in each of the ones that you go into. And I've seen that. There's so many. You have to remember, guys, I've been a pastor for a very long time now. I've counseled many people. I've, he you know, I've, I've been so blessed for God to allow me to heal people and, and all sorts of different things that come along with being a, a Christian pastor, which is just awesome. So I know people, you know, and most people have their own invisible armor. It is very flawed indeed. Very, very flawed. When you do become that bit more experienced in dealing with people, and especially dealing with people's situations, ugly situations, especially, um, you can see that the armour that they have on just isn't up to the task. It never is. It seems to work for a time and then it just doesn't. And life can be very up and down. Very, very up and down indeed. But with God, again, I'm coming back to what it feels like. And that's the only way I think I can explain it. It's just you're having this one inch ecosystem around you, you know? I mean, our Earth's got an ecosystem, you know, weather and all the sort of stuff that goes on in that. But when you become a Christian, that's what you now have. You can be in situations that are just awful and be feeling tremendous joy for some reason. Because God, you're with God. And with God, you've got a different plan. There's a different purpose to what you see with your eyes. And that's what it's like a lot. Sometimes people, you, know, you don't want the unknown, but as a Christian, it's exciting. You know, we think very differently. It's like as well, you know, we terrible situations happen. And most of you guys will know that have been following us so far know that I've been on breathing machines. I've almost died more than once and been months in hospital, rehab, all sorts of stuff. And um, I mean, even now, I'm still struggling with this brain injury. Um, useful to preach, I love teaching, you know, because it's just so, but it's very difficult for me to do that now, you know, I've got to really take my time and think about it, and I'm sure that'll get a lot, got, get a lot better, but you certainly find in some situations, I know it, I know it sounds odd, 
but I kind of just want you to see it, you know, that when something terrible happens, you know, someone goes into the hospital or whatever, you get your own sense from God about what's actually happening in the situation. And you don't panic. You know, there's no real panic. There's times you just look at it and you think, you know, this is probably not going to end very well. You know, of course it's not. And um, there's those situations that are quite serious where you actually have a very big piece about the whole thing, you know, which is really quite something. And then, even though it's a bad situation, you start to actually feel excited and encouraged. And you think, what can God do this? What can God do through this? How can God change that life or change that person around them or those circumstances or those situations? It's strange and you just think, you know? And there's things like that going on just now with my various family members, people that are close to me. And obviously that's not fair for me to share, you know, unless they sort of give me permission for that. But there's been a few situations even now where um, I just look at it and think, wow, that's going to change. That's That's got to change that whole thing, that thing that's been holding that person or that circumstance that's been holding that person. God, God's in it. You know, he's working in it. And that's the kind of hope you get in life now, you know? Things going on and, and everything doesn't look good and whatever, and here you are in your little bubble. And it maybe is, you know, that ecosystem that you've got. And you're excited and you're thinking, wow, it's going to be so good for them. You see relationships change and you see relationships coming back together, you know? God's a very family relationship type of God, you know, <laughs> type of God, he is God. But, you know, he, he loves all that reconciliation and uh, and sometimes just tear that apart to make it work again and put it back together and stuff like that. It's just so great to see. So as a person, when you become a Christian, things change a lot. It's very odd, you know. It's good, you know. It's very good, but it's odd. And, the, of course, the difference with, like, a, just your normal life armour, which I call it, you know, is that it's that's very unpredictable and it's not really reliable as such, you know. And um but when it comes to God's armor, when it comes to that ecosystem you have, it's pretty constant. You can have times in life you doubt, of course you do, and you're going through tough situations and so on. But guys, I've been lying in a hospital wondering if I'd ever get out of a hospital again. And look around the room and I just feel hope, you know, that I'm not alone in this, even though this is pretty bad. It's not something everybody's going to go through in life. You've got your own ecosystem. And you're saying, Lord, what are you doing through this? What are you doing through me? You know, what do you need to see me do with other people? What's happening with this situation? This horrible thing. I wouldn't want to go through the, those things again as such, but through those horrible situations, great things happen. And I've been there so many times, you know. And uh, God has proved in time and time again through very difficult circumstances that he'll come through for you, you know. But guys... That is the sort of ecosystem that God gives you. It just, it's just odd. Terrible situations, I keep saying it, terrible situations, really difficult circumstances and all sorts of stuff. Generally, you, your mood would go with that, circumstances. But God, a horrible circumstance, joy, you know, it, it sometimes doesn't make sense, but it's, you, you experience that within yourself. You know, it's not a belief, it's not, you know, it's experience. I can sit here sharing this with you guys today because of experience. There was a time that I never had that experience to be able to share with you so passionately about God, you know. Like, I just couldn't have done it. But now, the experience, like many of you guys will get when you follow God and when you move forward and, and all those sort of things, you'll have all these same things yourself, you know. It's not just for the few. Absolutely not. As I keep saying in a lot of these sermons that I do, is that our salvation as, as people, as Christians, are exactly the same. There's no difference between Jew or Greek or male, female. That's the great thing about God, you know. There's no difference whatsoever. And as a Christian, you can have that ecosystem. You can have your own personal coat of armour your own personal relationship with Jesus that's part of that armour, that is that armour, sorry. That is that armour. One of the things, you know, that um, certainly has frustrated me in the past when I've 
listen to people doing sermons like this is that it's, it's almost very well I could share and go on and on and on like I am just now but for many for many times I've looked at it and says, well why don't you teach how that's actually done how does that what you're talking about actually translate into life you know, see so you guys can really say right this is the way forward and this is how it's done you've got to have that instruction that comes from it I'm just encouraging just now I'm just coming alongside and encouraging it's called exhorting just sharing about Jesus and my experiences and the things that I know to be true I have to be able to teach you how that actually happens as well of what you need to do or you can do to have this and when you have this is to live in that as well so at the stage we're at with our, our online ministry I've put on some of you know the, the most basic teaching series I think I possibly could there's six in all which are probably about 50 videos I think um, so there's more than enough there you know but those teachings are the foundation the milk the stuff that you need as a young Christian or even an experienced Christian that's maybe lost their way a bit it's that milk of God's word and God by his spirit when you're a Christian makes the framework in your mind like that and all of a sudden there's security there's balance there's peace because of God and his word his word can't stand alone I could know the bible inside out guys and teach you all sorts of different things many people can do that I think but there's a very very big difference between knowledge and actual experience so hopefully you know guys as we move forward you know I'll, I'll hopefully always be that way inclined this where I'm sort of showing you guys the issues or the, the, the various different things that come with being a Christian things about life and really instructing that because I'm sharing this message today guys but look at, look at what we need we need advice about relationships about marriage about ch kids, children, work all these simple things that we class as simple but we all know you know, quite a lot of that can become very, very complicated indeed and God has answers for all these things. It doesn't matter what the situation is. You've got your ecosystem. You have got your frame. And nobody can give you that but God. Nobody can give you that but God. I don't care who you, you think is one of those people in your life. Nobody can give you that but God. Yes, there we go. Another sermon done. I'm trying to keep these quite short at the moment, you know. But, um, you know, I will be teaching and preaching kind of so much in the future. It's just, there's so much to do, I feel, at the moment. And again, a lot of it's probably my fault. Probably haven't been as wise as I really should have been. You know, it's it's quite a big project. It's not something you do every day, building something like this, you know. So it's always feeling my way forward. But again, as a Christian, I've got my ecosystem, guys. God's still the same. It never really changes at all. You never really feel all that alone. You never feel like you haven't got someone to turn to. And you've got that security. And it really is quite something. It really, really is. And I'm going to work very hard, guys, to share with you the how. How this actually applies in your life. How it actually changes your life. So you can listen to me and actually see it happen in your reality. So that you can look up and just say, Wow, he's in the earth, you know, you don't have to look up, but you look up and say, Wow, that looks good. So as always guys, please don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notifications. We will be doing real weekly videos on this channel. You know, the Barney family stuff that's already on the weekly, it's great, you know, we've got our sort of schedule of what we do. This I'm kind of feeling our way forward a little bit with, you know. But if you're watching this particular sermon in a year's time, nothing changes for God. It's exactly the same. God can make this work for you in 10 years' time if you're listening to this. No problem with God, God. No problem. So thank you so much, you guys. And God bless.